Joji Bizarre Adventure Creator Hirohiko Araki shares his philosophy on writing villains. Joji Bizarre Adventure Creator Hirohiko Araki was interviewed by the Japanese literary magazine Kotoba in its 2020 spring issue regarding how he writes memorable villains. He mentioned several key aspects to be important to the creation of the iconic villain Dio. The root of evil lies in horror. Dio is an imposing villain because his grudge against the Joestar family spans entire generations. He is an immortal vampire, and even he is defeated, he comes back to hunt Jonathan Joestar's descendants. Araki said that his ass himself was freaking him the most. It's a, it's a curse that transcends time rather than an enemy with invisible powers or a violent disposition. Evil is compelling to a reader when it feels unnotable. There's a kind of appeal to trying to wrap your head around the philosophy if exposed by a villain was actually impossible to predict in the moment. Adventure stories revolve around mystery and other things that seem beyond the comp comprehension of people in regular society, so it stands to reason that villains, who represent the obstacle that must be overcome, are full of mystery. Araki also mentions a number of titles that were influential around the creation of Joji Bizarre Adventure and helped set the scene, so to speak, for Araki's style for villains to catch on the Republic. The Silence of the Lambs, directed by Jonathan Demi, is about the serial killer whose very existence is threatening because there's uncertainty about it and he will kill again, and what excitedly drives him to kill. The manga series, Ujijama the Lone Shark, portrays charismatic villains that the reader can't help but get engrossed, and despite objecting to their reactions every step of the way, Araki Forge mentions several villains in media that have made a strong impact on him. He highlights the film Frost Nixon, directed by Ron Howard, for portraying the former US President Richard Nixon as a kind of person who used mind games in an attempt to ex exonerate himself of wrongdoing. The Araki, the character represents a powerful evil that is evident to see. He also praised Hereditary, directed by Ari Aster, for portraying the existential fear caused by the supernatural curse that haunts even those who dare speak of it. Finally, he praised Joker, directed by Todd Phillips, for portraying Eva as a product of the society that he came from, described it as symbolic of the current era. 